have a new the keyboard. But have you ever thought what it does and how your life would be without it? How would you write or communicate with your friends on your mobile device or PC? Today, I'll be talking to you about the purpose of a keyboard and how the world would be different without it. The keyboard is an essential part of the computer. It is responsible for everything that is displayed on your screen. It all starts with the keyboard. Every character and word that is shown is sent via the keyboard to your monitor or screen. Without the keyboard, you would not be able to write it on a piece of technology, therefore you would have to use the book. How would we create online pieces of work, communicate with others, or even look up an answer online? The keyboard has a crucial role in everything that we do with our devices. Writing something like the example on your screen could still take place without a keyboard, however it would take a lot more work and is a challenge to complete. The keyboard along with the mouse is a major input device as it controls one of the main components of the computer. Without this device, using a PC would be a challenge as you would have to use the keyboard via your screen. To conclude, what are a few things that the keyboard is responsible for in our everyday lives? It's responsible for writing on our devices, controlling games on our iPads and computers, and also inputting information to other devices. The circuit is what powers the keyboard. So the question that we can ask is what is a circuit and how it operates on a keyboard. The circuit is a shut circle that electrons can go in. Unless the circuit is finished, that is making a full hover back to the electrical source, no electrons will move. What circuit makes up a keyboard? A keyboard matrix circuit is a design used in most computer keyboards in which the key switches are connected by a grid of wires. How it works is pretty simple. All you do is press the key and then it will pop up on the screen as the circuit transfers the data used from the matrix keyboard system. An optical keyboard technology uses light radiating gadgets and photograph sensors to optically distinguish impelled keys most ordinarily, the emitters and sensors are situated in the border mounted on the little printed circuit board. For example, let's look at Apple. Apple have a sensor monitored system which lights up the keyboard. How this is detected is through the brightness of the camera. The camera detects the brightness and through that, at the level of which you want the light of the keyboard, the keyboard keys light up. Have we ever asked ourselves this one question about the keyboard? Where did the keyboard evolve from? What was the history behind it? The manual keyboard was first invented in 1868 by a man in the name of Christopher Lantham Schultz. This man invented the QWERTY layout for that specific keyboard. When Christopher had completed his invention the keyboard, he knew that this idea had to develop globally. The decision was then made. The Remington Company began marketing the first typewriters, which all occurred in the year 1877. In today's modern world of computers, the keyboard has had a few extra modern features attached to it. These new modern features are very significant and have had a massive difference to the old typewriter keyboard. This demonstrates how the keyboard has changed over time. When a key is pressed down on the circuit, this causes it to become connected in the wires. Hence this allows the electrical impulse to continue travelling throughout them. The impulse then reaches the microprocessor where the key is scanned by the scan card. And after this, the impulse travels to the RAM where the information is recorded. From here it travels from the system to the monitor and is then displayed upon the screen. A man from the post office went to deliver a message to the king. 
In order to do this, he caught a boat to cross the river. As he continued his journey, he passed many other buildings and messengers from other post offices. Again he was transported by an enormous eagle. Finally, he arrived at the king's castle and delivered the message. Where the king hung the message upon the wall. When a human hand encounters an uncomfortable environment, a sensory neuron is activated. This sends a relay neuron to the brain to process it. Then, the neuron is sent back to the human hand. This causes the hand to move away.